Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Friday, February 24th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Loafer Pete made it to Ohio. Famed Marxist regrets finding out who her descendants are. Harvey Weinstein sentenced again. An event comes home. It's all coming up. And Bill, of course, with your message of the day. But first, Pete Buttigieg made his first visit to East Palestine, Ohio, 20 days after that train derailment and one day after President Trump made his visit. Buttigieg literally at the press conference said, sorry, I lost my train of thought while standing up there wearing his loafers. The day before Trump was asked what his message is to Joe Biden, Trump said, get over here. The governor of Pennsylvania said his office is looking to see if they can charge the rail company, Norfolk Southern, with crimes. The company said they're paying $6.5 million to those affected by the toxic spill and controlled burn. In a beautiful blow to the ridiculous idea of reparations for the descendants of slaves, famed feminist, Marxist, communist, Black Panther professor Angela Davis was on the PBS show Finding Your Roots, and it turns out her ancestors came over on the Mayflower. They were white. And her mother's father and father's father were white men. And she is a descendant of a slave owner herself. (laughs) That's great. So Angela Davis is a major advocate for reparations, but now she'll be the one paying them. Media mogul, former media mogul, Harvey Weinstein, was just sentenced to 16 more years in prison, so he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Two months ago, the jury convicted him of three counts of rape and sexual assault. He was already serving 23 years in New York. And this California judge ruled that these next 16 years will be served after his New York sentence. Weinstein's final words to the judge before the sentence. I maintain that I'm innocent. This is about money and coming after me. Please don't sentence me to life in prison. I don't deserve it. I beg your mercy. Herman Schmidt was stationed on Pearl Harbor when it was attacked by the Japanese 82 years ago. His remains were quickly discovered, but only recently identified because of new advancements in DNA technology. Schmidt left behind his wife and infant son, who's now 82 years old. The son was unable to attend his dad's funeral in Arlington National Cemetery, and he was worried that no one else would even want to attend. Turns out, 500 strangers showed up on behalf of a grateful nation, and the flags across Wyoming were flown at half-staff as well. Thank you for your service, Herman Schmidt. Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 920 257584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, as you know, Donald Trump visited East Palestine, Ohio, the site of that toxic train wreck. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News did not cover the former president's speech live as they certainly would have in the past, particularly FNC. But the times, they have changed. Mr. Trump has few media allies these days and his ratings power has diminished somewhat. But the real reason there was scant coverage of his live address is that corporate media does not want another Trump presidency. So the most flamboyant politician in modern times is being iced. His free media juggernaut almost completely sidelined. That will hurt the Trump campaign for president. The massive media exposure he received in 2016 and 20 certainly made him the man who could not be ignored. 
Now the national media wants to ignore him into oblivion. What the corporation should do is be up front. Tell the folks exactly why Donald Trump is not deserving of attention the way he once was. Be honest about it. However, the words honest and media are now so far apart, I fear the gulf will be there forever. It is a see no evil thing. Because to the corporations who run the television news agencies, Donald Trump, above all, is evil. They don't want him around. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Susan Emmett, West Bloomfield, Michigan. I was a hardcore Trump supporter, but he is less disciplined now. He has an outstanding record to run on, but he rarely talks about his accomplishments. He's obsessed with DeSantis. Thank you always, O'Reilly, for telling the truth, even though it's sometimes hard to hear. Well, you are welcome, Susan. And I, you know, I'm going to talk about DeSantis with uh, President Trump when I see him. David Madison, Wisconsin. I consider myself a liberal Democrat. I heard your comments regarding media that all of them are in it for the money. I appreciate your honesty in reporting the facts and that it costs you sometimes premium members. I've lost faith in both political parties and it's worse for the news media. Well, keep the faith a little bit, David, because we go in cycles here in this country. We're in a down cycle now. And I can't tell you when we come out of that down cycle, but I believe we will. Anthony DiCarlo, Merrick, New York on Long Island, where I am. The Ukraine war has me concerned. There seems to be no effort toward a diplomatic solution. If you follow the money, the military complex is making billions of dollars. That's true. Somebody's got to make the weapons and the ammunition. But this is not a conspiracy, and there is no negotiating with a guy like Putin who doesn't want to negotiate, does he? Now, if Putin said, look, let's talk about it, believe me, there'd be a negotiation, and Zelensky couldn't do anything about it. Matt Gangola, Mesa, Arizona, Sean Hannity had Marjorie Taylor Greene on his program. She's suggesting a national divorce. According to Congresswoman Green, we need to separate red states and blue states and shrink the federal government. How do you feel about that, O'Reilly? I, I don't feel about it at all. I mean, I think she's an interesting guest. You know, I know why Sean had her on, but it's fantasy. In a moment, something you might not know. There's a growing sense of uncertainty in America these days. We all know it. Food prices are up, grocery stores filled with low quality foods. Wouldn't it be nice? To grow your own healthy food, Arc Seed Kits is a family-owned business providing heirloom seeds for more than 15 years. Heirloom seeds can be harvested and regrown year after year, giving you and your family the stability and security you deserve. Arc Seeds All-in-One Seed Kit has more than 65 varieties and over 50,000 seeds to help you grow nutrient and calorie dense vegetables and fruits. You'll also get an ARC seed guide with everything you'll need to grow and harvest the varieties in the kit. For a limited time, ARC is offering a discount of $300 with the Prepper Kit Special. This includes five all-in-one kits for the price of four. Please go to arcseedskits.com today. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 90 years ago this week, Nazi leader Adolf Hitler held a secret meeting with Germany's top industrialists. In exchange for big money, Hitler promised lucrative contracts and protection against the growing communist threat in Germany. Here's how Germany's biggest businesses financed the Nazis. The National Socialist German Workers' Party was formed in 1920. But it was the Great Depression that catapulted that party to power. In 1924, the organization had just 25,000 members, most of them loons. By the end of 1929, after the Depression hit, that number had grown to 12 million. Before another round of national elections in Germany, Hitler organized a secret meeting with the country's richest industrialists. 
In February 1933, a group of 25 businessmen huddled inside the private mansion of Hermann Goering, the second highest ranking Nazi. Hitler delivered a personal appeal for money. Said the future dictator, quote, private enterprise cannot be maintained in the age of democracy. We must gain complete power if we want to crush our enemies completely, unquote. In total, the Nazis raised 2 million Reichsmarks in less than 90 minutes, the equivalent of $10 million today. Two weeks later, the Nazi party won a majority. It would be the last election in Germany until the end of World War II. Throughout his reign of terror, Hitler relied on Germany's top business people to consolidate power. He worked with Mercedes, Audi, BMW, Deutsche Bank, fashion designer Hugo Boss, Porsche, Shell Oil, Siemens, Volkswagen, and others. The dictator's dream of a thousand-year Reich came to an end with Germany's defeat in 1945. The Nazi party was then banned, its top leaders convicted of crimes against humanity and executed. And here's something else you might not know. Nearly all the industrialists, the business people who collaborated with Hitler, evaded justice. After the war, they claimed they were forced to work with the Nazi party. Back after this. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 800- 925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.